the type two cells are is out here where they can bind taste tastins, okay? And they're a combination, they dimerize these T1Rs and T2Rs. And I showed you somewhere else, and I'll show you again, the combination that causes the different flavors. But whenever a tastin binds it, it releases a calcium store in the cell. That calcium activates this TRPM5 channel, which brings in more calcium. And that causes the uh, opening of panexin. And ATP throws, flows out through panexin. Now, does anyone remember a protein I talked about in uh, my extracellular matrix lecture long ago in foundations about a protein that rhymed with panexin? Connexin, right. And what, what was it in? What, ty what type of interactions? Cell to cell, yes. A certain type of cell to cell? Gap junctions, right. And so someone else said something, you were thinking voltage, right? So you're passing. So basically, the connexin opened a pore between two cells, and cytoplasm could flow between, and so you could um, have depolarization flow through. Panexin is basically half of connexin. So you're opening a pore, but to the outside. Okay, and so ATP flows through that. <clears throat> um, you don't have to know about the cold and hot, just know they work differently, and cold isn't the temperature cold, it's these things that we refer to as cold, like menthol, peppermint, and the hot is things like pepper, caspasin. Um, <laughs> yesterday I was having some ramen noodle for my kid, and I put the hot peppers on, but the top fell off. So half the thing went into my soup, but I really wanted it. So I ate it anyway. <laughs> That's the most hot pepper I've ever had in my life. Okay. 